Okay, we're going to try a hot start on a J model. He just flew in from up north, so I'm going to leave the, the uh, throttles all the way back. I'm going to crack it just a little bit. Mixture's all the way out. I'm going to crank it up, and when it starts, I'm going to gradually ease the mixture in, and you'll see that there's no big rush to get the mixture in. Here we go. Okay, I'm kind of a kind of a dirty start, but once you start your own airplane all the time, you'll you'll see that you'll kind of get an idea of what it takes. But I start a lot of different ones, and and um, so I just have to do what works for everything. And so we're gonna sit there and let it. I'm gonna run it up, kind of clear it out. roughly 800 and then we're gonna pull the mixture shut it out okay we'll wait just a few seconds here and I'm not gonna touch anything I'm gonna just just like it was and I'm just gonna start it back up like it's a car You know, so I didn't prime it, it didn't change anything, it just uh, But most people try to shove the mixture in too quick and that's what kills them on a hot start. Then they start giving a boost pump and everything else. But it's a Lycoming engine, it's flooded. It's flooded the minute, two minutes after you shut it down. That. Uh, <coughs> divider flow divider up on top it's just like a coffee pot and it just percolates that fuel and i've heard people say well it's got to be a thousand it's got to be 1100 or whatever but anyway we're just gonna there's 760 we're gonna shut it down leave everything just like it is and right now that flow divider up on top it's sitting on top of the engine it's just like a coffee pot so it's percolating that fuel what fuel is in the line past the mixture valve and it's percolating. And a lot of times you can walk by the front of the engine after you shut one down and you'll hear kind of a little hissing noise. And what that is, is that's air going through the injectors uh, with the fuel being percolated in. That's that air mixing with it. So, okay. It's been, what, 30 seconds? Not going to touch anything. Here we go again. Like I said, you can kind of regulate everything with the mixture. The throttle's fine. It's still down there, what, 750 on the tack. So. Just a little bit, kind of clear it out. You know, and it'll get flooded. It'll, the plugs will gradually load up. And uh, that's why it's kind of spitting and popping everything right now. Pull the mixture out a little bit. Throttle it back. That's 750 on the idle. I'm gonna reach over and kill it. I 
and we'll sit here a few minutes let everything get all good and flooded you can see it's still holding fuel pressure so that's a good sign it means there's, there's uh, mixture plates are in good shape and they're holding if we were to push this in right now that f uh, pressure would dump and then we'd have kind of a possible well let's just do it let's be brave see there's it's so we're really going to have her flooded this time so we pull it back like i said everything's still where it was let's see what it'll do said you can just kind of use a mixture for the throttle until you get it running and you don't have to shove it all the way in because like I said we're just idling so we're a little we were rich we don't want it flooded if we shove it in now it's not doing any good that's where you want to idle anyway is with it leaned out Put it back, 750, kill it. We'll try it again. Like I said, you can kind of use the mixture for the throttle until it gets to running. So there it is, hot start. Hot start, it's uh, 650 RPM, so. And we're back to about 750. I'm gonna shut her down. And this time, just to show that it doesn't really make any difference, we'll just shove the throttle halfway in. There we go. See, so you can use the mixture as a throttle. Then read over to ease it back. Good, you can ease the mixture on in. All righty, well, that's how we do it.